A Wall Street analyst has set a bold target for NVIDIA by the year 2030. If you invested $100 in NVIDIA NVDA, at the start of 2023, your investment would have grown to $830. This increase is due to the impressive rise in the company's stock, driven by advancements in artificial intelligence, or AI. However, one analyst predicts that the stock could rise from its current price of around $120 to approximately $800 by 2030. Phil Panaro, a former senior advisor at the Boston Consulting Group, believes that the ongoing growth of AI, along with the launch of NVIDIA's next-generation Blackwell processors, could lead to annual revenue reaching $600 billion by 2030. This is a significant increase from $61 billion in fiscal 2024. Now let's examine the factors mentioned by Panaro and see if they are strong enough to support NVIDIA's remarkable growth in the long term. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. The increasing demand for accelerated computing. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang recently stated during the company's earnings conference call in August that accelerated computing will be a key driver of long-term growth. Huang explained that the shift from general-purpose computing, which uses central processing units or CPUs, to accelerated computing that relies on graphics processing units or GPUs, could potentially lower computing costs by as much as 90%. According to NVIDIA, GPUs can significantly speed up demanding workloads in data centers that would typically take much longer with CPUs. This transition to accelerated computing not only enhances speed, but also promotes sustainability due to its reduced energy consumption. Huang projected that in just a few years, data centers valued at $1 trillion will be entirely focused on accelerated computing, thanks to the improved energy efficiency it offers. Currently, data centers account for approximately 1% to 2% of global energy consumption, a figure that is anticipated to double by the end of the decade. The faster processing capabilities of GPUs compared to CPUs are expected to help lower energy consumption over the long term. The demand for data center accelerators is predicted to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 28% over the next five years. Huang mentioned that this significant market shift toward accelerated computing could position NVIDIA at the start of a remarkable growth trajectory. NVIDIA holds a dominant position in the data center GPU market, reportedly controlling 98% of this space by the end of last year. This strong market presence positions the company to benefit greatly from the ongoing expansion in accelerated computing, even if it experiences some loss in market share. Looking ahead, the prospects for NVIDIA's upcoming Blackwell AI GPUs appear promising, with the company noting that demand is currently outpacing supply. This trend is expected to continue into the next year. Why a $600 billion top line seems achievable? NVIDIA's strong growth potential is reflected in the increased revenue estimates for the next three fiscal years. The company operates in several rapidly expanding markets, including artificial intelligence chips, which are projected to grow at an annual rate of 41% through 2032. NVIDIA also focuses on digital twins and cloud gaming. These factors contribute to the possibility of achieving $600 billion in revenue by the year 2030. However, it is uncertain whether this growth will lead to the stock price increases that Panaro anticipates. If Nvidia does reach $600 billion in sales by 2030, the stock would need to maintain its current price to sales ratio of 32 to yield 561% returns from its present level. This scenario would result in a market capitalization of $19.2 trillion, compared to its current valuation of just under $3 trillion. Alternatively, if NVIDIA's valuation were to align with the average price-to-sales ratio of 8 within the U.S. technology sector by 2030, its market cap would rise to $4.8 trillion. This adjustment suggests that NVIDIA could still achieve 61% gains from its current levels, assuming a more reasonable valuation. 
Nonetheless, if the market continues to reward NVIDIA with a high sales multiple due to its robust growth, there is a significant possibility for even greater long-term upside. This scenario could bring NVIDIA closer to Panaro's ambitious revenue forecast. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.